Well, I'm sorry, but there's a carriage meeting me at Borgo Pass at midnight. Borgo Pass? Yes. Whose carriage? Count Dracula's. Count Dracula's? Yes. Castle Dracula? Yes, that's where I'm going. To the castle? Yes. No. The coach from Count Dracula? Everything is in order, awaiting your signature. I'll be loyal to you, Master. I'll be loyal. Master, that note is a nice one. <laughs> And after you delivered the message, you will remember nothing, I now say. Obey. Hi, driver. Tell me that he escapes from his room. He's gone for hours. Where does he go? Well, Mr. Renfield, you are looking much better than you did this morning when I arrived. Thanks, I'm feeling much better. I am here to help you. You understand that, do you not? Why, of course. And I'm very grateful. Keep your filthy hands to yourself. Now, now, Renfield. But then, if Dracula were a vampire, he'd have to return every night to Transylvania. And that's impossible. Then he must have brought his native soil with him. Boxes of it. Boxes of earth large enough for him to rest in. <laughs> Renfield? What are you doing there? Come here. Did you hear what we were saying? Yes, I heard something. Mr. Harker, I have devoted my lifetime to the study of many strange things. Little known facts, which the world is perhaps better off for not knowing. I know. But, Professor, all I want is to get Mina away from all of this. That will do no good. Our only chance of saving Miss Mina's life is to find the hiding place of Dracula's living corpse and to drive a stake through its heart. Isn't this a strange conversation for men who aren't crazy? Renfield, you're compelling me to put you in a straitjacket. 
You forget, Doctor, that madmen have great strength. Dracula has great strength. Hey, Rendy. Words, words, words. Oh, Martin, didn't I warn you to keep a strict watch? What? What? Again? Yes, sir. At once, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Here. The doctor's pet loony is loose again. Dracula is in the house. In the house? But Professor Van Helsing, modern medical science does not admit of such a creature. The vampires are pure myth, superstition. And I may be able to bring you proof that the superstition of yesterday can become the scientific reality of today. We know why the world talk, do we not, Mr. Renfield? And we know how we can make them stop. Ah! A moment ago, I stumbled upon a most amazing phenomenon. Something so incredible, I mistrust my own judgment. Look. Dracula is our vampire. But surely, Professor... A vampire casts no reflection in the glass. That is why Dracula smashed the mirror. I don't mean to be rude, but that's the sort of thing I'd expect one of the patients here to say. Yes, and that is what your English doctors would say. Your police. The strength of the vampire is that people will not believe in him. Should you escape us, Dracula? We know how to save Miss Mina's soul, if not her life. If she dies by day, but I shall see that she dies by night. And I will have Carfax Abbey torn down stone by stone, excavated a mile around. I will find your earth box and drive that stake through your heart. Come here. Come here. Your will is strong and healthy. More wolfbane, more effective than wolfbane count. Indeed. except you and me. Sometimes I have me doubts about you. Then, then she may be alive. Mina! 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 Oh, if you could have seen the look on his face. There's nothing more to fear, Miss Mina. Dracula is dead forever. No, 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 you must go. But aren't you coming with us? Uh, not yet. Uh, presently. Uh, come, John. 